What up, all? Welcome. We're hanging out. It's Saturday. We're drinking some Tattinger. That doesn't suck. Um, so Tattinger, champagne. It's called La Francais. It's a brute style, meaning that there's not a lot of residual sugar in it. And it's composed predominantly of Pinot Noir. It's 48% Pinot, 37% Chardonnay, and 15% Pinot Meunier. So classic Champenoise blend. Cool fun fact about this guy. This is James Bond's champagne. So back in, I think, the original release of Ian Fleming's novel Casino Royale in 1953, this is James Bond's champagne. Not too shabby. Let's take a look. All right, again, we're tasting champagne out of a wine glass. The reason we are tasting champagne out of a wine glass is because we're gonna get more aroma, both on the nose and the palate, because there's more surface area to touch the wine. You're probably gonna serve this to your guest in a champagne flute, but then some of the more knowledgeable guests will ask for this in a larger glass. So, FYI. Well, let's take a look at the color. And it's a pretty nice straw. I would say medium straw with hints of green, which indicates some youthfulness. And those legs are medium plus to form and medium plus to fall, indicating a medium plus level of alcohol. We'll confirm it when we get there, but let's take a, a sniff. I, I know why James Bond likes this. Um, so this is a creamy lemon. There's a really nice, ripe, round Meyer lemon quality to it. Some golden delicious apple. I think that there is Bosque pear. There's also a kind of a more uh, full bodied fruit, almost like a, like a crunchy raspberry. So it's one more time in the glass, let's smell for some earth. Nice earth. All right, so champagne, as we all know, sits on essentially straight up chalk bedrock. And this smells like our erasers that you bang together and the chalk dust gets up your nose. Um, there's also a non-fruit category here too. Um, there's a, an apple blossom or an orange blossom, a really faint, really pretty white flower. Um, and on the oak note, I, I want you to notice that there's not any, right? Um, there's no vanilla, there's no cinnamon, there's no butterscotch. Um, it's not necessarily like uh, angular hard corners. I think this might have been aged in maybe an older oak barrel because there is some roundness there, but there's not any of the flavor profile that would go along with oak. So let's take a sip. We'll confirm it all. James Bond has an excellent taste in champagne. Um, <laughs> this is what champagne is supposed to taste like. So I want you to get your green apple. I want you to get that creamy Meyer lemon. Um, I think we also have to talk about the fact that there is like a, a more full-bodied fruit like a crunchy raspberry. What we didn't talk about on the nose that we're getting in abundance on the palate is that like croissant dough, brioche, nutty quality um, that comes from the yeasty lees in the production of champagne. So definitely very present. I think we still have our apple blossoms or orange blossom, however you want to talk about it. And I think we can confirm that there's no oak here. There is a roundness. I think that has to do with winemaking, but there is no oak flavor profile. No cinnamon, nutmeg, butterscotch, caramel yet. One more time, take a sip. Let's confirm our structure. I could drink this all day long. So how much is your mouth gushing? I have high acid coming over in waterfalls out of my mouth. Um, and how warm are you right here? Our scale is if you're looking for it, it's medium. If you have it, it's medium plus. And again, if it's overwhelming like waterfalls, um, it's gonna be high. And I have alcohol. Uh, it's not overwhelming or overpowering in any way. So I'm gonna call this medium plus. So high acid. Medium plus alcohol, we're gonna call this a medium plus bodied wine. We're gonna declassify our high alcohol into a medium plus, um, which means it's gonna go with medium plus bodied foods. All right, so here's your three, two, one. This is golden apple. This is orange blossom. And I think we have to call this rich because of the way it feels in your mouth. Food pairings, all right, we all know, I love everything fried with bubbles, but I want you to imagine that brioche, nutty croissant dough and the crispness of the bubbles with a crunchy fried anything, whether it's a french fry or an onion ring or a fish stick. Um, this is gonna go really well with that. It's also gonna pair amazingly with oysters on the half shell or caviar. Um, so lots of options. Uh, and the fun fact is Tattinger is the champagne of James Bond. Bond. James Bond. I love your faces. <laughs> Have a great day.